We knew that if we put in the work and, and executed, we were going to probably be second. Um, but I think it was a little harder than what our women thought. It was definitely harder for me watching that race unfold the, the way it did. But uh, we ended up putting five girls in the top, top 20 for all GLIAC. And I think that that's huge um, to be able to, to do that. But we still got to get better. We know. I told the girls right away. I was like, hey, good efforts today. But in two weeks, we got to be even better than what we were today if we want to make the big show at the end of the year. Yeah, I think uh, it's, a, it's a huge step in the right direction for her development. Last year, uh, the GLIAC race was not a great experience for her. She still finished 15th, um, but it was a very, very tough race. And I think she made a huge step forward in progressing in dealing with big race pressure. Um, this, you know, we could say this might be the first big race that she's been in where she, she performed and gave a great effort. And I still think she's got a lot left in the tank. You know, Liz, Emily V. Hill, uh, Gabby Fieber, freshman, and Sophia, those girls made the team score today. With, without them, you know, we're fighting for third, fourth, not comfortably sitting in second. Um, we're going to see as the results get posted that our pack, even our six, seven runners, our eighth runner today, were huge in displacing some of those other teams. I mean, we were able to put eight runners in, some, uh, in front of number four runners of other teams, and that's huge when you're adding up all those points. So. Uh, it was nerve-wracking to watch again, but I just can't express how proud I am for how they handled that expectation. Um, I don't think we've had pressure on our women's side in quite a while. So for them to know that they got a target on their back and to still go out there and execute at the level that they did, it's very, very encouraging. And just the amount of pride I have for it right now is, is incredible. All year I've been kind of jabbing at the men, you know, the women are the women are good, the women are good, you guys got to step up. And then today it's like I'm almost more proud of the men than I am of the women because we were supposed to take probably sixth today. But we, we had our meeting last night and I said, if you guys want it, you got to get out and take it. And from the gun, they got out and they were in front of just about every other team's pack outside of Grand Valley and Saginaw and they stayed there. Uh, they took some huge risks in the race and they paid off big for, for our guys. So for Braden to be able to finish sixth overall, uh, that's the highest finish any male athletes ever finished at the GLIAC meet uh, in a Michigan Tech uniform. So it's, it's huge, huge, huge progress for all those guys. They're all sophomores and freshmen. So they're all going to come back and the future's so bright for them. We just got to keep them going in the right direction here. Yeah, I think every team here, I think all the coaches have the same approach. You know, I think we all want them to be a little aggressive and uh, not be too scared of the, the muddy parts, but it definitely played a role. Um, you know, I think our kids handled it well. You know, when I asked them how the course was, they all just said, oh, it's fine, because it's nothing that we haven't ran in before. So I think that kind of mental approach really helped us out. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I ran it this morning, and it was, there was some, some mud pits out there. So thankfully, no one fell, and we were able to get the results that we got today. Uh, we're, we're definitely in, in a better spot. I would say we're, we're still very excited. Um, to be able to get that uh, opportunity in that week's, but I, I still think we got to get better, and <laughs> we only got 13 days to do it. Um, we still got big goals on both sides, and step one was today, so we forget that now. Now we got to move forward to, to the big kind of end season goals here. Uh, our, I really think our women can be a top three team, top two team at the regional meet, but we got to be even a little bit better than we were today. And on the men's side, I think we could be top eight, top seven top five I don't know because today really surprised me I have no clue where the ceiling is on those guys so they add 2k to the race we go from running 8k to 10k and that can affect everybody a little differently so we still got to be able to uh, have that kind of practice environment that we've been able to have where everyone's in a really good mood and ready to get better and work hard and have a good time doing it